Welcome to the Zen Zone Zen Lee here. We have something I was excited about, really excited about, a gear video, some new gear I wanted to share with you. And a little bit disappointments with this new gear. In fact, I don't even recommend that you need to spend the money on this new gear. I did pay for all of it, and I kind of regret paying for all of it, but hopefully you get some value from my mistake. And I'm gonna to try to demonstrate to you in the best possible way why you don't need this gear, all right? <clears throat> If you appreciate these sort of videos, give me a thumbs up, give me up to 100 likes for a gear related video. Gear's not the most exciting thing to unbox, but man, it is the most important. And there's not really any EU specific gear made for us yet. I saw E-Rides has some new gloves that look pretty amazing and specifically made and designed for EUC riders. So I'm excited to try those out. But there isn't really specific EUC gear for us overall yet. You know, the body protectors, and all the, the leathers and stuff are made for motocross and made for other motor sports that aren't EUC where when we fall, it's more of an impact. So you need bigger, thicker wrist guards, maybe even full fingers. I don't like full fingers personally because I like to be able to use my phone and feel the wind. All right, so let's get into it. These are my third pair of leets. You can see that these have been well worn and well used. I don't know that I've had a hard crash in these ones, but I've definitely, you know, had some lighter crashes. You can see the scrapes and the scratches, the uh, pads. All right, so I am, oh fuck. Whew. That's why you need a good cutting heel. I don't know if you saw that, but it started to spin and then it cut out, but it would have kept going. Uh, I, uh, well, it's cut out now, so we're good. All right, so I'm wearing these tried and true Leet versions. Uh, the pre these are not the newest Leets. The problem that these have are the straps. So what I'm gonna have a friend do, a friend said he could have it, his mom does like, uh, will cut them shorter so that I'm not having to twist them and overlap them to get them tight. And you can see how these are pretty well worn, pretty well scratched up. They are the best knee pads that I've had for the money. I've never had, and I don't think anyone has ever had any knee uh, injuries. These have protected so many. These are the best knee pads that UC Rider can have. I think, in my opinion, I've never seen anyone. I got rocks stuck in mine here. I don't know if you can see that. Some rocks stuck in there. These have been well worn. My other two pairs were broken after a few crashes. These do not hold up well and crash. They're kind of like a, maybe a one two-time use depending on the sort of crash you have pants a little bit depending on the type of crash you have these are really good knee pads they have the flexibility you can still squat quite easily with these knee pads they do everything that you need a knee pad to do now the key point all right the key point with these knee pads is look okay let's pretend i'm riding my uc okay riding my uc Boom, I cut out, I go forward onto my knee pad. See how I landed and I slid forward on these, all right? So again, I'm riding my UC, cut out, whoa. Right? I'm sliding forward, like it, it, I'm not being flung forward, I'm sliding. These are great, great EUCs. Now they're a bit more scratched up. I'm doing this for you guys, hit that thumbs up button. Damaging my gear, these were already damaged. But uh, yeah, they're getting more scratched up now. Now, let's unbox these, not unbox them, I've already unboxed them. Let's uh, unveil these new beautiful leads. They look more flexible. They have improved straps. Uh, they feel more lightweight. Impact tested and certified. See how they seem more flexible? I have crashed in these once, right here, you can see I hit the side of it, it was a, a slide where I went around a turn and my wheel lost traction, I slid and hit the side of them, so for side protection, I think they may be, yeah, they're similar, but you can see instead of these uh, nuts, it has like this pad here, they, on the surface, they look like really good, like a really good upgrade on the inside, they're more of a different kind of pad. Let's look at the, these ones. Now with these ones, I love how easy I can unstrap them. I have no problems getting these on and off. These come off quite easily. This is more of a foam. I don't know what the difference here is, like what you would call each material. This is more of like a cloth, and this is more of like a, a foam or 
I don't know what the difference. <laughs> Comment below if you know what the difference is in the materials. But you can see, right? You can see how there's a difference. It's more like rubber, I guess, and this is more like a cloth. Um, okay, so these are the tried and true. These are the brand new ones. Dual Axis Pros. I don't know what they call these. All right, so these are brand new except for how I've been testing them. I've only crashed in, I hit the left side. I didn't hit the right side one. So we are going to demonstrate to you. So they fit nice over, man. And I think they look better too, the way they form. The straps are better, but uh, I have frustrations getting them off. Like I feel like sometimes it's just, that one's pretty easy. Some of the other ones are, like after a long ride, I'm trying to get these off. They, like this one can be difficult. It doesn't just quite pop off as easily as the other ones. It's not hard. And I think the bottom one's even the hardest one because it's the, the uh, strongest one. But yeah, you come after a ride, you're just trying to get oh, Okay, I'm getting better at it. Maybe it just takes time to break in. Okay, so the contrast between the two. Let's see. As far as bending goes, I don't really notice. This does feel slightly, slightly better, barely. I mean, I would actually, actually, I'm starting to think this one bends better. This one feels a bit stiffer. Maybe because these are better, more broken in, but I'm actually preferring the, uh, these ones for the flexibility. Yeah, I think I bend better in these ones, okay? So let's go ahead and take this off and we're gonna demonstrate to you the most important reason why I'm probably going to keep, I'll probably still wear these because I bought them and I paid for them, but I don't think they are the best for this reason. Not the straps, straps are, everything are good. The flexibility was, I was finding the flexibility to be much better in the, to the other ones. I do have problems getting these straps on. There we go, got it. And that could be just breaking them in, like I mentioned. All right, they're on. Now, the most important thing, watch how I fall in these. Now, I'm breaking my new, not breaking, I'm scratching and damaging these new leads for you guys. Leave that, hit that thumbs up button. All right, now watch this. You're riding, you're going to see. You ride. Oh, actually. Okay. It's more of a, it rolls you forward. It feels like they're rounder, so when you fall, I don't know, maybe they're good. <laughs> Before when I was falling on them, oh man, I've, yeah, I've damaged them. Now you can see, I was, I was trying to demonstrate you. Before when I was falling on them, I wasn't sliding like on these ones. It wasn't a flat fall. It's more of an angular fall, but uh, it wasn't, it wasn't, it's not bad now. Okay, I'm gonna have to retract my, uh, before, because of the roundness, I felt like I was, instead of sliding it, they tend to like throw you forward, but I'm not finding that issue now, maybe because I've been breaking them in. They are no longer new dandrin them, so I don't know. I guess I don't have a problem with them. I still feel like I'm gonna prefer these older ones. There is no reason to upgrade, but I'm a little bit more happy now that I didn't waste my money on them. They seem like, decent enough pads i'll keep testing them and update but uh yeah my initial impressions with them weren't so good because i wasn't sliding like when you fall on these i kind of fall flat instead of rotating forward but it wasn't so pronounced in this video all right i have one more piece of gear all right to end the review Perfect, bro. i had a hard crash with these just now i went down hard i slipped in the grass and flew over some pavement right here flew onto this and the knee pads are good. They they did, uh, they're perfect. They really did their job. I wasn't going high speed, but I did hit really hard. So, hit both of them. So, to end the review, I think they're way bad. Yeah. <laughs> to go over with you guys, these are the most expensive, most expensive underwear I've ever paid for. These are more expensive than some fancy shoes. These 150 euro or $130 for these Liat shorts. I did crash when I had these on and they did an okay job. 
I really feel like you could just go on Amazon and find something cheaper that's not 130 euro. The negative thing about these underwears, I feel like, is it only has this small tailbone protector, which is why I still wear the backpack, is because it protects your back and your tailbone. And from you slapping the back of your head, when you crash sometimes in a weird way, you hit the back of your head if you come off the back. But these undies are, uh, they're okay. The quality, this is where I hit, so. I was, I slid and I landed on this knee pad and the left side of the pad, which you can't see because it was un under my pants, which you can see how my pants are a little bit road rash there, a little bit black where I had, but I had these on under and I didn't get a bruise or anything. It did have some pain there for like a day, but I feel like these kept me from getting a bruise. I do not think you need to pay 130 euro for these undies. I feel like I saw some stuff on Amazon that's similar. Maybe not as good looking, these look pretty good, but who's looking at your undies, right? I mean, you're not like just wearing these on the outside, these go on the inside. I put them under my pants, so nobody can really see them. Uh, they are, they're good. I mean, if you got some money and you want some undies, some fancy undies from Liet, they're 5.0 undies, then these are, these are the ones to get. But I would look for something with a better tailbone protection because this just little pad is probably not enough. There's no butt protection at all, really. On the back side of these, there's no protection, so I would look for some butt protection, especially if you don't wear a backpack. Having a little bit of extra butt protection will be good. Overall, I'm actually more satisfied with these knee pads now. I still don't think it's absolutely necessary to upgrade to either of these pieces of gear. If you guys like my gear videos, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below. I'm trying to save you some money on that police over there watching me. No, he's checking out some homeless people, I think. But we're, uh, we just had, a rider in Barcelona get his EUC confiscated by police and they weren't going to give it back to him. It took him a lot of fighting and this organization AUMP, which is like the Pevra of Europe, I just donated to him yesterday. They helped him with some documents, get his EUC back from the police. He still had to pay like 50 euros, so bit of a bit of a hiccup there and I was really kind of depressed about after he got his EUC confiscated. I was like, man, if I get mine confiscated before the race, that's going to be the worst. But everything's good now. Um, I'm gonna print up some more documents, so if I ever have any issues, I'm just gonna show the police those documents. Should be good to go. Again, guys, hit that thumbs up button. Really, it's, it's such a simple thing to do. Hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment below. It takes a little of your time, but it really helps me out, helps me get the word out. Safety gear videos aren't the most exciting. Usually people wanna see new wheels or unboxings, but I'd like to give you guys safety because I wanna keep you riding. Keep you riding for a long time, keep you safe. I've been through so many crashes and it's only gear the reason that gear is the only reason I'm still riding. That little crash I had the other day where I hit my underwear and hit the side of my knee pads, that would have been debilitating. If I wasn't wearing wrist guards, it would have broken my wrist probably. And the knee pad hitting the side of the knee, I might have hurt my knee or knocked my kneecap. And hitting the side of my hip, it would have just been some bruise, some road rash, but not too big of a deal there. It wouldn't have been too big of a deal there. I have bruises from the side, that's why I bought the bought the underwear, but it kept me from getting another bruise on my hip. It's a good hip protector, but guys, you guys, if you have these old Leots, you do not need to upgrade to the new ones. That's my conclusion here. You don't need any of this gear. It's a slight, there's not really, I can't really see any reason. If I could go back in time, I wouldn't buy the gear. Maybe I would still buy the underwear because I don't have any. And I was looking on Amazon, the ones here in Europe, it was hard to find one that would be just as good. But let me know if you guys have any gear recommendations for the underwear that's not 130 euro or 140 bucks. I don't know exactly how much it would be in USD. Um, the Liat knee pads, no substitute for those. Those are the best for the money pads that I've been able to find. But if you find some better knee pads, let me know. And until next time, stay in the Zen Zone.